Security officials say clashes between police and Muslim hardliners in Tunis have left one person dead in what is the latest sign that religious tensions are threatening to boil over following the popular uprising that toppled former autocratic leader Zine El Abedine Ben Ali last year. Violence allegedly broke out after police arrested a Salafist Muslim for knifing an officer. Once known as the most secular country in the Arab world, tensions have been mounting between secularists and Salafists over the role of religion in government since the Islamist Inada movement emerged with the most seats in last year's election of a constituent assembly. But some Tunisians fear their country, often described as the cradle of the Arab Spring pro-democracy movement, is increasingly coming under the power of Muslim fundamentalists. In September, a group of protesters torched the U.S. Embassy and a nearby American school over a California-made YouTube video which ridiculed the Prophet Muhammad. In the most recent scandal, a recording was leaked of Inada leader Rachid Ghanouchi, apparently reassuring Islamic radicals that secularists in parliament could be overpowered to make way for Islamic law. This has led many voters to lose their faith in the party's initial pledge not to use Sharia law as a basis for government legislation.